Hey everybody, this is Garrett with Diary of a Family where we're intentionally living life with you. Welcome to a RV tech video where we're going to be repairing a little tear in our roof. While I was here at the NRVTA, uh, we went and we inspected our roofs. We did all kinds of stuff to learn how RVs work. One of the things I noticed was that we had this small tear in our RV and I wanted to get that fixed. So I'll go ahead and show that to you now. There's the tear right there, there's the size of my finger. It's about maybe an inch and a half long. It's not that bad. Now I want to get that clean and repaired. We're going to run the awning in and out a couple times and that'll basically be it. I'm using Campco awning repair tape. It says permanent repair for rips and punctures. I'll show you the process and we'll go through it step by step. Enjoy. First step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some soapy water in a jar so that I could easily take it up onto the roof with me. I have some water for rinsing and then I have some rags for cleaning and drying. Once I'm done cleaning, I'm gonna stick some tape above and I'm gonna stick some tape below to add the stability that I need. What I'm primarily doing here is cleaning off the surface so that the tape has some place to stick to. I don't want to have any grease or grime or anything stuck onto the awning before I apply the adhesive or it's not going to stick properly. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the soapy water and apply it to right underneath the awning. Now you want to take a towel and dry off the area the way you'll be applying the adhesive. If you're ever in question of how something should be done, always just refer to the back of the packaging, especially with like these self repair kits or stuff like that. They always have the information that you need to do it properly. So I'll show you exactly what this tape is. It's pretty, pretty simple. It's a very rubbery, Type tape. It's kind of a clear tape and it goes right on the awning and then the adhesive bonds to the awning fabric itself. Now that you have your damaged area clean with soap and water, you're going to want to add isopropyl rubbing alcohol to the area as well. Now what this does is it removes any coatings or adhesives or anything from that area that might cause the repair material from adhering properly to the awning. So we'll take our clean rag, put some rubbing alcohol on there, and we'll clean up. Now since I'm applying to the underside, I'm gonna do the same to the underside. I'm gonna let that dry, and once it's completely dry, we'll add the adhesive repair material to the awning. Now that it's dry, I'm going to take a strip. I'm gonna make it about an inch or so longer on either side, about that long, so that I'm covering all sides, and then if it stretches, it's not gonna pull the material away. And it says using your hand, slowly work out all the bubbles. So I'm gonna use my hands here and just work it all into the material itself. All right, next I'm gonna do the same thing to the underside. I'm gonna just cut off a piece and stick it underneath there. Now that I have it connected, kind of work out as much of the bubbles as I can on that one. I'll show you real quick what I did on the underside. Basically, right here is where I put the adhesive. You might not even be able to see it because it's that transparent material. I just put it right on the other side. By applying the repair material to both sides of the tear, I am providing extra support. You don't want to just do it on one side because you might 
something might pull and just release all the adhesion. By doing it on both sides, you're adding that extra stability and protection. I'm gonna do a few more things to the awning. I'm gonna have my wife run the awning in and out a couple times, do some small readjustments, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to repairing a small tear in your awning. If you have any more questions or you're not sure what kind of damage might have been done to your awning, make sure to call a certified RV technician. They'll come out there, they'll figure out how to help you get on the road with uh, working equipment. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to check out some of our other RV repair hack videos. Yeah, a link will be in the description. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live life intentionally. Bye everybody.